Hi everybody, welcome back to Activity Sunday. All right, back at the desk. Hey, I bet you wondered what happened to cell phone jail, haven't you? Well, what a perfect opportunity. Since I can't collect your cell phones, imagine a year from now when teachers say, put your cell phones away. You guys can come back and say, yeah, but last year you were telling us to take our cell phones out. <laughs> okay, cell phone jail has been transformed into toilet paper and paper towel roll holders. All right, today is an activity day. I'm trying to convince you to create things for the people around you. Serious. Next week, Mother's Day Sunday. Got something for mom? Let's create something today. Grandparents Day is coming up. Father's Day is coming up. Paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls. I'm going to splash a series of ideas up on the screen here for you to think about what we could create. So I think the first one that pops up is a desk organizer. Serious. Imagine if these were all taped and glued together. You got your pens in one, your pencils in another. You could cut one short and you got your paper clip holders, right? Absolutely. Okay. The next one, wire tie holder. Okay. We got all these wires, right? Think about when you're storing the wires from the TV or the wires from the, uh, all your cell phone gadgets, right? Just take one of these out, cut it in half, right? Napkin holder, wire tie holder, okay? Bird feeder. How about a bird feeder? Have you thought about that? I'm posting several links on how-to videos. They actually take peanut butter, and then they roll, after they put the peanut butter on the outside, they roll it in a series of nut mix. And then you hang it outside for the birds to eat off of. Yarn holder, right? Have you ever helped grandma do the yarn? Right when you're trying to roll it into a ball, okay? A different version of a desk organizer, okay? There's different ways to make desk organizers. Hot Wheels, serious? How many of you still have little match car boxes? Yeah, kind of cool. And then a colorful, let's see, colorful desk organizer. Okay, now they actually use the box to hold it together, plus they have lots. The reason I like this one is because you could actually take this to the garage for a tool holder also. Cool, all right, and then, Star Wars creations. Yesterday, year, two days ago, we started binge watching Star Wars. We can make little Star Wars figurines, right? Okay, all right. Now, some that I wanted to show you. Take these toilet paper rolls, cut them, flatten them, just put them under a stack of books at, at night, right? Squish them down, they stay flat. Find yourself some old wrapping paper, Okay, find yourself some curling ribbon. Okay, you gotta have some scraps left from the holidays. Okay, poke a hole in it and create a book, right? And then we could create presents. We could write on each page and present that to someone else in your family. Kind of a neat little creation, right? Okay. Now, before we finish this video, I want you to realize how much fun we're going to have in math this week. Now, we had the out with the old, in with the new. During in with the new, I showed you that we needed playing cards. Maybe you don't have a deck of cards. Do you have enough toilet paper and paper towel rolls to make 52 cards? There's 52 cards in a deck. As long as we have 52 of these, heck, I've got seven right here. We could just cut them in half and we have 14. Make your own set of playing cards, all right? But we need dice. This week is Yahtzee week. If you've never played Yahtzee, I'm gonna be making a video on how to play Yahtzee. 
If you got the mayor at home, you'll see in there's an actual Yahtzee scorecard. If you don't have it, no problem. We're gonna teach you how to make a Yahtzee scorecard. But we've gotta make dice. How do we make dice? All right. Just take a round one, fold it in half. Once you fold it in half, fold it in half again. For those of you that in class, hamburger hot dog. <laughs> This is the hot dog, <laughs> okay? At night, set it under a book, squish it nice and flat, okay? So I did that last night, right? Now, take a nice pair of scissors and cut one inch strips, okay? One inch strip, boom. One inch strip, make sure they're all exactly the same, boom, okay? Once you've cut those strips, Open them up, kind of pinch it a little bit so that you have a nice square. Open the other one so that you have a nice square, okay? Once you have a nice square, a square and a square, okay? Slip one inside the other, and voila, dice. Take a nice ink pen and number them. Now remember on a dice, if you've never done this, one, six, two, four, three, five. They're opposites. The one goes with the six, two with the four, three with the five. Instant dice. To play Yahtzee, you need five dice. So make sure you have five because next week, all we're gonna do is have fun with math. It's gonna be discovery week. Remember in our classroom when we do Discovery Week, where we literally just play the game and discover, are there patterns? Are there things that we notice? That's all we're doing this week. This is going to be an awesome week, okay? So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with dice, cards. We're going to play some Yahtzee. We're going to play some Rummy, all right? This is what I leave you with today. Let's see if we can throw a party in our house for Mom's Day, Grandparents' Day, Father's Day, and use toilet paper and paper towel rolls to decorate. Okay? Here's the last couple of visuals popping up here that I think were kind of like, wow, I could do that and make next Sunday's Mother's Day a little bit better. All right? So this is Activity Sunday. I'm Monty. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah? Remember what tomorrow is? One, two, three, four. Tomorrow will be day five of Monty's May 2020 20 series. So until then, have a great Sunday. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you again. Happy creating.